Hello everybody. This video is going to be more for the, uh, the new angler. Uh, just a few random ter terms uh, to know. Nothing extravagant, no specific order. So uh, let's get talking about this. Once again, it's, it's five things, uh, five terms to know. The first one is going to be a slot limit. I live in Florida and we, there's a lot of different slot limits for certain types of fish. As an example, I'll give you the snook fish. On our coast of Florida, which is the west coast of Florida, if, if you want to harvest one, which means if you want to keep one, um, the minimum length has to be at least 28 inches long. The uh, maximum length cannot be over 33 inches. That, that's on this coast. So you have a five inch uh, slot where that fish has to measure uh, within, within that, that slot. And on the other coast, it would be 28 to 32 inches. So that, that's a little bit about slot limit. And keep in mind, like for example, with the, the snook fish, you would have to pinch the tail to get the true overall length. You just can't have it flat. You have to pinch it and it would make it longer. So in some cases it could help you or it could hurt you. Uh, I apologize for all the noise out here. They're, they're cutting the grass here today. Uh, so let's move on to uh, number two. Uh, some states have what they call a citation program. Um, a lot of people think of a citation as like, a, you know, I was cited by law enforcement for running a stop sign or uh, speeding or something like that. In, in, this, in this term, uh, a lot of states, they, they, you can uh, achieve a citation. Uh, like when I grew up in Delaware, uh, a five pound bass, you, you could receive a cit citation, which is, a certificate of merit, just acknowledging uh, something positive you did as an angler. All right, so that was the number two. So uh, number three is uh, about fluorocarbon. Fluorocarbon is a type of leader material. It can, it can also be used uh, like a main line too. Predominantly, it's a leader material. What that means is you have your regular fishing line and then you attach a fluorocarbon leader to it and um, then you you know you'd have your hook or your bait or what have you, and what what that does is it, it makes um, that line pretty much invisible underwater. There's monofilament leader uh, that you can use. It's a lot cheaper. Uh, fluorocarbon is going to be three to four times more expensive than monofilament leader. Mono, monofilament leader is good, but it's it's not uh, truly invisible. So uh, if you're serious about about you know becoming a, a really good quality angler fluorocarbon would be the way to go. So um, now we're going to talk about a term, uh, hook set. Hook set is uh, more like a uh, freshwater term for the most part. <clears throat> uh, when you see anglers and they're, they're bass fishing and, and then all of a sudden they like, let's say they're taking their worm or whatever, they let it run a little bit and then they, boom, they, they just really pull the rod back hard. So it sets that hook into into the mouth of the fish. So that's a term called hook set. Uh, there's also like a slang term in some social media areas. Hook set could also mean uh, someone uh, su subscribe to you. So it's like a, uh, it's a cool little polite fishing term gesture. Um, so we're gonna go on to number five. Term number five is uh, called caught the skunk. What does caught the skunk mean? That sounds crazy. Well, it is crazy. It, it means, it doesn't mean you caught the actual animal that stinks. It means you didn't catch anything. You got skunked, that you stink as a fisherman. I'm just kidding. Just trying to keep a straight face there for a second. Almost every angler is in, in the skunk club. So if you get skunked, don't, don't be petrified. Just get, you know, get back on the horse, go after it again. So uh, those are the five terms. I'm gonna let you uh, get a look at the board. It, it got rubbed up against a little bit, so it's the lettering's not clear. <clears throat> but I'm at the Estero Community Park, and I want you to see the beautiful fountain behind the board. But those are five terms to know. I will do other terms from time to time, and uh, it may have more, uh, like, uh, more organized, more structure to a specific category or something like that. So. There's your five fishing terms to know, brought to you by Jailbait and Tackle Outdoors. There's the beautiful fountain. Uh, Estero Community Park is, is just a, an outstanding place. I like to come out here 
for uh, peace, relaxation. Unfortunately, I tried doing this video about over five times. Every time I, I was doing it, one of the mowers would come by. It was a guy with the blower would come by. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with this uh, one last message. Always know your legal limits, folks. Be legal.